hey there, you're watching the Jessa Channel Live on YouTube where we are playing as Pippi Le Pew. <laughs> That's the name of our character. We've decided the vote has been cast. <laughs> and she's got a chip on her shoulder about it. <laughs> we are playing Wylands. And uh, we spell it P-E-U-G-H, you know? And that's why she hates when you say Pippi Le Pew. <laughs> it's Pippi Le Pew. Pew. <laughs> we are playing Islands. I keep wanting to say Islands. We're playing Islands, early access game. It's um got a Minecraft feel to it. And you can see the screen here is kind of dark. You can barely see our character. But that's because we left our character at night to go to the break. And we're back here for another episode and another session of uh, Pippi Le Pew, the pirate captain of the good ship Poopy Plop. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time in chat, but that is true. That is her name. And our goal here in the game, because Wildlands is a, uh, a sandbox game, and it's also a game which, interestingly enough, allows you to create your own games within the game. I haven't explored that yet. We're just getting started with the crafting. In fact, we were learning how to um, craft some dinner. So let's go ahead and do that. We shall continue um, with, oh, Mistros, our island of Mistros named by Angie in chat and uh, <laughs> poopy plops. <laughs> Absolutely, Bailey. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so we are loading up our game. And the other thing I like about the game, there's a day-night cycle. It's beautiful. And I have never been able to get into Minecraft for some reason. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but it's just never looked right to me. The big blocks, I just, I just could not get into it. It was, but this is kind of like origami paper almost. So Morgwen was letting me know that we had actually done our campfire correctly and that my campfire might have bugged because uh, we can't, have any more no more content so i think something's going wrong here i'm gonna move chat to over here might be a little bit easier for me very glad i can have the chat window up and keep up with what you guys are saying <laughs> okay so it uh, doesn't look like we can douse this campfire so let's try making another one um and I'm gonna just turn our character around and we'll just make, we have enough wood, so let's just try making another one. <laughs> Jay is helping us, we're creating a story, crafting a story for our character Pippi Le Pew. And um, <laughs> Jay suggests that we have an idea for a backstory. Uh, I have an idea for backstory. We, he does, I mean. <laughs> we were a pirate cap captain who was marooned here after a mutiny because they wanted to rename the ship and we were having, we weren't having any of it. That's wonderful. So I like that idea very much. Um, we're gonna go into, uh, and that is a win, Jay. So that's the back, we were marooned here. We were put in, they drilled, I got an idea. Like we had to pick a number between one and, or like between five and like 12 or something. But we weren't told why when we were being held at gunpoint, when Pippi was being held at gunpoint. So she picked seven because it's a lucky number. And they f drilled seven holes in the lifeboat, seven tiny holes, enough to possibly get her to land should she be able to find it. So from now on, Pippi's most unlucky number is the number seven. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so let's see here. What I'm trying to do in crafting as we are getting a hold of this is unlit campfire. We're going to make another one and place it down here using the keys. I'm going to lower it. You can also lower it with the mouse as well, too, just sort of moving the mouse. But uh, I'm going to, whoops raise it up a little bit here it's kind of dark hard to see but maybe two campfires will help us out with that and I'm gonna place it now the game is pretty easy so this number pops up here this 155 
unlit campfire. I'm wondering if that is how long the campfire will stay lit or something. Not sure. Um, let's interact with it. Oh. You know, it's not giving us our option to light it again. So do we have to make another one of those? Oh no, I have to. No, I have it. Let's put it. Uh, let's put it in one here. Nope, that's zero. There we go. Now we can light it. Uh, down at the bottom, you can see the quick, uh, quick items, and uh, we have one bow lighter thing. I'm gonna hold it down to light the campfire. We now have two burning campfires right there. And you can see that this one does look a bit funky. So feeble campfire. Oh, that's why. Okay. Let's interact with this and see if we can't roast some fruit. Craft. Okay, got it. And uh, hard boiled egg. We don't need to. Oh, that's the thing we can make. I keep getting confused. This is the thing we can make. So let's make a hard boiled egg. Ret required. Okay. Oh, I see. We don't have an egg anymore. Somehow we must have eaten it. Baked potato, roasted vegetables, uh, and the rest of it will fill up with roasted fruit. Oh, I can see here that you can see the time is going down now. So yeah, you're right, Morgan. It We definitely, the last campfire was bugged. So we're going to, I don't know if we can just wait until it's done just sit here that seems a little boring if we just have to sit here while this cooks let's uh let's close this and see is it still lowering it is okay interestingly enough it's not letting me roast my corn <laughs> If she did 12, she would have drowned, Warscar. That's exactly true. It's a countdown to us building it. If it does, we have a countdown. Okay, got it. So this uh, campfire remains. Nothing is currently being... Cra so it doesn't look like we can... I wonder if we can relight this. Does It looks like we can. Look at that, we can relight the campfire. Wonderful. So we can interact with this campfire. Oh, okay, and now the take all button is here. So we can now take, got it. So we have to let a little bit of time pass, got it. This burning campfire, it looks like we have, we can still make some roasted vegetables. And roasted fruit, so let's keep doing that. Cooking up all of our food. And I will wait on this here, burning campfire. All right, so now our next thing is to get a little bit of shut eye. Oh, and to eat. She's pretty hungry. That's a blinking thing is telling me that she's pretty hungry. So let's eat some corn. Very luckily, we have not lowered our life enough to be... Let's eat some raspberries. She's still hungry. Making all that fire was a lot of work. Oh, no, I don't want to hit the fire, PP. These are not your people who mutinied on you. I know you're angry. But we will get them back. Maybe you should consider building your own ship at one time. Pippi leans out or looks out towards the horizon. The sun has set over there. She dreams about revenge. That ship was named after her grandmother Poopy Plop. <laughs> a long norm, it's a long family name from originally from, from Poland. And they immigrated to France and they kept their name and their family pride. And Grandma Poopy Plop Le Pew would not appreciate this. I need a moment. <laughs> the sun is rising in the east slowly. We haven't gotten a lot of sleep and she's still hungry. Goodness gracious, girl. E 
eat roasted fruit. I'm hoping that the roasted fruit will be uh, more nourishing. Yeah, just eating one of them helps. So, uh, okay. What we were going to do. <laughs> Poopy plop la pew. <laughs> I thought you would like that, MJ. Grandma Poopy Pop Le Pew. That was her ship. She, Grandma Poopy Pop Le Pew was a, a missionary. And she went around to many islands, spreading the word of um, whoever our God is in this world. Let's do it. Let's come up with a God in this world, some sort of deity. Who's the deity in this world? Let's watch the sunrise. Look at that, the epic music playing. Now, she didn't get any sleep, so I have a feeling that that's going to cause us to have problems. So we'll make a bed for tomorrow night because it's been two days without sleep. <laughs> Jay was like, I wasn't 100% sold on the name Poopy Plop, but that backstory sold it. <laughs> that's what I'm good at. That's what I was put on this earth to do. <laughs> hey, spinach. Oh, I'll have to try and take a picture of little. I would love to be able to zoom in and out. That's I, I that is something I'd really like in the game because it would be nice to zoom in on her and zoom out a little bit and get a better picture. OK. <laughs> OK, so MJ has this to contribute. This world's God's prophet is Swami Rama <laughs> Swami Ramalama Ding Dong. <laughs> if you guys want to keep that, <laughs> we'll keep it if that's what you want. Okay, so today, Pippi Le Pew, Captain Pippi Le Pew, she may not have a ship, but she has the will. The desire. She may not have a ship, but she steers her own craft. The craft of her heart, which is full of evil revenge. She knows that Grandma Poopy Plop Le Pew would look down at her from heaven and say, Don't go to the dark side, Pippy. Don't go. But, well, sometimes. You have to go to the dark side because they have cookies. So, yeah. So I'm crafting this story. I'm taking it seriously, as silly as I'm making it. <laughs> we, we have a real character here. Okay, so uh, let's work on the bed. Um, because I want to put a bed right here next to these two campfires that we're going to light to keep us through the night. Um, Rama Lama Ding Dong, prophet of the sun god stew. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Silly girl was saying that might suffice since there's no zoom. I don't know what that is that you're referring to. Uh, just let me know, honey. Okay. So, uh, crafting. Let's head over to our crafting. Uh, Pippi sits down on the wet grass, um, still wet from morning dew, and says, I've need some place to sleep. I've had two days without sleep and I cannot take this anymore. Therefore, we need furniture, a wicker basket, um, what can we build here? Is it called a sleeping pad? Let's try sleep. Nothing. Let's try mat. Nope. How about pad? Yeah. So could someone give me the recipe again for, um, for grass sleeping pad? Thank you, Joe. Uh, let's try and collect some more grass. We could use some more, I think. We don't have much. Oh, that picture. I got it. Yep. So this is a fern. We'll pick this fern grass. And let's just kind of clear out our homestead area here in preparation for building and just pick up everything around it. I 
That's interesting. I picked that corn, but it did not disappear as far as I can see. I'm pretty sure I picked it. Raspberry bush. Oh, I don't want to. Darn it. I shouldn't have picked that up. I should have let that grow. Oh, I see. It takes the corn off and just leaves the stalk. Got it. Because we're just picking the corn and leaving the corn stalk. So flax, tall grass. So all we're doing here is just, so grass times 10 and rope. Got it. I don't see it in my um, recipes though, so I don't really know how we're going to end up making that. But the details on the game is very good. They've done a great, it's very well thought out. We're just going to, um, I don't want to take their, I'm going to keep the feathers. We might be able to do something with them. And if we don't pick stuff, we won't know what we can do with it. So we might as well just pick everything. Okay. Pippi uh, wipes her forehead off. We've got a stick. Stick. Flax and Pippi is craving some meat as well, too. So we might have to find a way to kill something. Pick up that stone. So now we have a nice clear area up top here. And look, you can see that the uh, plant is growing back that we chopped down. No, I lie. That's not the plant. There's a feather right there. Let's grab it. This stick. Withered sorrel. This is the tree we chopped down. Hello, Adana. I was just thinking of you. I was just like about three minutes ago. I was thinking, I wonder if Adana's still here. If she's, you know, kind of got over the uh, welcome. Eight types of beds. Okay. Thank you, Joe. It's again, Joe rocking it. Mod extraordinaire. She's gotten to be good enough at modding for me that um, she knows what I'm going to ask for before I ask for it. Funny. Uh, I'm thinking we should probably cut down this shrub here. The reason why is that it's going to block our, our building area here. And also, we, we need the wood. Oh, an iron bed, too. Wow. We have so far that we can move up in the world. Okay. Uh, let's go for inventory again i'd like a quicker way to uh it to you to switch weapons out without going into inventory maybe a way i don't know of it yet so stone pick stone axe i believe is what we need here and uh actually let me close this i think i can just drag down here i gotta remember i can do that it's a lot quicker and yeah so, Mr. Shrub, it is not personal, but down you go. As soon as I line myself up away, the right way. I don't know how close you have to be to it. Uh, zero, let's go here. You can use your mouse wheel to go to where you need to go. To go with her iron heart. Renee, I can see your comments. Absolutely. I think I'm responding to you. Uh, I saw your comment about Zoom. So we now have some grass. Uh, let's see if we can. Um, let's go to F uh, here. And I mean to go to crafting. I mean to press the zero for craft. I mean the O button for crafting. Okay. So under furniture. Just says wicker basket. Miscellaneous. Clay pot. Clay pot. Clay pot. Basic repair kit, wooden... Sp so we might be able to repair that perimeter thing that we had. Hay bale, charcoal, those, that's clothing. Hey, we have some uh, boots that have shown up. Do we have rope? Let's check for that first. Uh, rope would be in tools, maybe? Tools... I'm trying to kind of learn where things are. Building materials. Not seeing it, but I will just find it. Here, here it is. Grass rope. So where is that kept so I can find it a lot quicker? The more you craft, the more things show up, it seems. 
because these weren't here before, which is great. Pile of hay. I wonder if we could sleep on that if we got desperate. Stick any rope. We do have rope. Oh, rope is back here in miscellaneous. Got it. Unlit bonfire. Stone arrow. We'll have to uh, craft some of those. What do we need for that? Resin and flint. So we're going to have to knock down some more trees. White pigment. Vase. Clay pot. Basic repair kit. Okay, got it. So, um... I don't know if there's a crafting skill. We can look in the help and see. Gonna turn on the heater. So, uh, let's go over here. Uh, so I'm trying to go to crafting and I'm not seeing anything to make a pad and, uh, at all. It doesn't seem like there's a recipe in here for it. It says we need grass, which we have a lot of. In our inventory, if you can see here, we have 42 grass, nine hay, and eight rope. A knife. Got it, Joe. Head feathers. Ha! It is worth it to pick up everything. You don't know what you can make until... Okay, so knife. We need flint. So we have now finally run up against it. We must have flint. We shall go searching with our, um, we're gonna go with our pickaxe. Um, Ariel, do you, are you saying that there's a map available? Um, I'd love to find one. I'm pressing the M key, I don't see one, but I think we have to, I, I was watching someone else and they were saying, oh, I see some white over here. I was watching someone else and they were saying that, um, the map is something that you can find. Okay, so here we are over what may be some flint. Um, so back to inventory, tools and weapons, stone pick. I wonder if I can just do that. What happens if I do that? Does that mean drop it? I bet that means drop it. I don't want to drop it. Okay. Yes, flint. <laughs> we are successful. Back up. I need more flint. Oh, I see. There are some. You can just see it. If you peer in here, there are four um, triangles pointing in that show you where you need to be uh, hitting. Grabbing all that flint. That's dirt. We don't need dirt. We need that flint. Give me that stone, too, while I'm at it. Oh, well. We might not be able to get that. But we can get possibly this. No, I don't want to break up my dirt. <laughs> Let's pick up that dirt. Pick up that flint. All right. We progress. Flint has been found. Thank you, Jay. Oh, we need to craft a map. Okay. With a blank paper sheet and any writing utensil. With one tree sap. Okay. So let's look for a little more flint because it seems to be something we really need. So let's travel throughout our world a little bit here. Just picking up sticks and whatever else we might be able to find. Tall oak. We're not going to cut down that majestic oak until we need to build a house. So I'm getting that feeling that happens with every game that I really enjoy and is a good game for me. I get that relaxation feeling. Like we were playing the Minims last night. Minims is like the ambient, uh, uh, amb ambient I mean, ambient of games. I think I see some flint on the ground here. Yes. So it is white. Okay. So we're going to travel a little bit farther from our home base here. Yep. I found it. 
and we are picking up, I'm picking up anything new that might give us a new crafting remedy, a recipe, as well as grass. All right, and stone as well, too. Stone is so important for us to be able to build things. <gasps> Look at that vista! This game is beautiful. Wow. Okay, thank you, Joe. I will look for bamboo, too. Huh. Looking for anything that might look man-made, you know? Maybe they're natives here. I'm wondering also if we can like make a fishing pole. Could somebody Google that? Can we make fishing? Can we do fishing in this game? This art style is amazing. It looks great. I've tried other games or looked at other games that had this had a similar kind of, for lack of a better word, blocky-ish feel. But this one doesn't have, it feels like, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It doesn't feel wrong to my eyes. My eyes, it feels right to my eyes. Okay. Blooming sumac. Isn't that poison ivy? Did I just give myself poison ivy? Or poison oak? Isn't sumac poison oak? MJ, do you know? Bob Splashkin. Oh, <laughs> you had me for a second. I was like, ooh, I was about to be like, so I just learned that one of the developer's names is Bob Splashkin. <laughs> You got me, Bailey. You got me good. <laughs> okay, so I'm not seeing any flint, but what I'm looking for are like eggs. Um, freaking love the music. A stick plus knife rope and a needle. So needle will probably require iron. Oh, it is the ocean god we made up? Bob Splashkin? I missed that part. Okay. Then that is the god of our oceans. And his prophet upon this land is Swami Ramalama Ding Dong. Because my husband loves that joke and uses it whenever he freaking can. I love my husband. But honey, sometimes it's tired. <laughs> oh. Moving the camera slowly for you, Adana. I believe I see eggs. I do. We're eating good tonight. So I'm still looking for Flint, which is why we're walking along here. And I'm also just kind of getting to know the island that we're going to have to spend time on before we can perhaps look at the rabbit. We're not killing a rabbit. Forget it. What do you guys think we should try and kill? I think a boar might be a bit much for us. I'm not killing a cute rabbit, so that leaves a goat, which I kind of don't want to kill, but we got to eat. Oh, look at this. Wouldn't it be cool if there are fish in here? The needle can be a cactus spine? Our husbands are dorks, Angie. Absolutely. My husband is... Um, I don't know. Would you say, honey, that you're kind of... He's Basically, he thinks that joke telling is an art form. And when he finds a good one, he lays into it good. But he's told me some jokes, and the thing is that I'm a great audience for him because I laugh every time. I'm such a derp. Sometimes I'll actually be like, stop laughing. In my head, I'll be like, stop laughing. You're encouraging him. And I just, I just can't help it because he's funny. <laughs> he made me laugh so hard. Oh, I see some more. F no, I see a feather. But I see um, an elderberry bush and um, a feather. So yeah, I'm not seeing any more flint deposits. I'm looking out for that telltale white, as it were. Not sure if we can easily climb up over this. Nope. Oh, but you can jump, I think. Yes. Haha, <laughs> space bar. Just clay, a boar, and a goat. It is an art form. 
Oh, I bet you could use a feather to write with. That would be cool. They give a number of options. I like that too. They've really thought through things. So we're out of Flint. Or we, I'm not finding anymore. So I think we should go back to the homestead because we need to make our bed. I also think that the length of the day-night cycle is really good. And we have to remember our the, the landmark for our homestead. I think it's those trees over there. Let's head on over. The game is running a little smoother since I closed down the map and it reloaded it. So I'm pleased with that. Yep, our homestead. See, I found it with no problem. That's cool. And I wonder if you can campfire remains. Campfire remains. So I'm going to try and um, just keep relighting those. You saw some on the left? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> MJ. MJ, have I told you recently that I love the heck out of you? You're like the best thing since sliced bread. And you know how much I like sliced bread. My roasted fruit was cooked. Interact with. Yep, we have roasted fruit, roasted vegetables. We could also make wood pulp, which we might need for something. Jay is saying, if we're not mistaken, we just passed some flint. Okay, Jay. Let's go back. I went, I think I was going this way. So let's see. You might be seeing this. That's kind of tan. I like that the game is such that you, um, I'll try and re re retrace my steps, Jay. So I like that the game is, um, you can kind of just figure things out just by going, logically it seems like, and then it works. I see some sand here. Hello, welcome back. Yeah, that's not Flint, it's white. I did see that though, but you know, that's a good eye. Good eye, sir. Good eye to you too. Because I'm Australian. I'm not Australian. <laughs> Joe is like, you are the worst Australian I have ever met. <laughs> that's one thing I'd love. I'd pay to hear Joe's voice because I bet it's awesome. So I'm just looking up here for Flint. Oh, maybe this is Flint. No, just stone. The flint is very white and the stone is gray. This is blue. Let's see what it does. Let's let's see what it gives us. Oh, this game is a marvel. Whoops, too far. Oh, but look at this stone. It's just floating here. Let's save it from its misery. <laughs> I don't think the designers meant that <laughs> to happen. Okay, so let's see what this gave us. Dirt. Iron ore! We have iron ore now! I don't know what we could do with it, but oh my god, is that exciting! <laughs> it's iron. Um. Okay, Jay. Jay is determined to get some flint, man. He's set on that flint. Hello, goaders. Oh, did you see how the plant moved as he walked by? Hi, goaders. <laughs> okay, let's just mine it and see what it is. Our little girl is working. Pippi is earning it. Message two. Oh, I can't. Oh, Lord, what am I doing? I'm trying to use it like my tablet. Uh, one. Thanks. I will try that. Three. Did I see message two? I didn't see message two. Maybe there's something like with how long the message needs to be or something. Anyway, um, so 
Let's see what that gave us. Dirt and clay, clay deposit. So yeah, not flint. Um, by the way, does, do they tell you where things um, are in the game? Like, in other words, flint is more likely to be found near this, or is it all just kind of random? I don't think it would be random because um, this is obviously given too much thought to this game. Okay. Could we dig ourselves a cave to live in? I don't see why not. Oh, it's breakfast time. Let's go for some mushroom. No worries, Renee. Okay, so four mushrooms and we are good to go. Flower linen. That's pretty, Uriel. I like your name, by the way. Is this your first time to the Jessa channel? I recognize a couple of new people tonight. Very pleased as always to see that. Okay, so we are coming in to do our grass pad here. This game is, oh, okay. Uh, this game is, um, phew. I love this game. I love this game. Uh-oh. Just run on by, Mr. Boar. I don't want no trouble with you. Run on by, shoot, run on by. Maybe I should run. The boars really don't seem to be too interested in us, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We haven't found any real predator animals. So I just will stand still and pretend to be a tree. Is he gone yet? <laughs> <laughs> C for first person view? Really? Oh. Poor Renee. She's just like, I don't know how to get what. <gasps> Shut up, Renee. Look, you guys, there's first person view. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I think though that if I used it, I might get a bit dizzy. So I'm gonna go back to third person, but yeah. <laughs> Poor Renee. <laughs> um, what was I trying? Oh, we were trying to make a, so we were trying to craft a, a bed. That's what we've been trying to do this whole time. Um, and I'm looking for, let's try grass. Okay, so grass gives me rope, skirt, and shirt. Uh, still trying to remember what I need. I need, we need flint. Remind me of the recipe for a bed. It's gonna take like 45 minutes to make a bed. An hour. Are you hungry again? Goodness gracious. and a knife. And we couldn't make the knife because we didn't have the flint. Now we have the flint, so now we can make the knife. Got it, okay. Thank you, Colin, thank you for staying. I know it's quite late for some of us in America, but it's, hey, it's early in Europe, so there you go. Let's make that knife. Knife. Trying to remember all the things that we can now make four stone knives. That's wonderful, okay. Stone knife. Now let's go in and see if that offers us a pad now. <laughs> we are successful, darlings. <laughs> we are successful. That's good. You know, I'm I'm on the fence as to whether um whether I like the fact that a recipe doesn't show up until you have stuff, I guess it's probably better because it would probably be pretty cluttered, but it also makes you not know what you can build until it just magically shows up. I would not have known that without the wiki. I would never have figured that out. It would never have occurred to me. So um, anyway, so we've got our grass sleeping pad uh, and we can craft that. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. It takes five ropes, so we're going to need to but I think that gives it to us. So we should be able to go into inventory, go to furniture, 
And there we have it. Our pristine glass, grass, not glass, uh, sleeping pad. Let me equip this and then I'm wondering if we can, how to place it. So two is what's highlighted. Yep, two. Oh, place. I had to roll over it again. Okay, got it. Um, so placing free placing mode active. Objects placed out of the grid. Objects don't harden. Deactivate with V. Okay, cool. I don't know what objects don't harden mean. That's interesting. This is feeling very... very yeah, exactly. <laughs> Morgan, you keep that up. And when I, when you live stream, if you ever live stream, I'm going to come over in your chat and give you all kinds of fun and hard times. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'll be like, oh goody, Morgan's, uh, Morgan's streaming. Let's see <laughs> what trouble I can get into with her. Uh, so let's try turning this, rotating this, uh, K. Okay. I'm wondering if I should move back out. I'm trying to kind of get something under the trees and by the fire. <laughs> Morgren, trust me. <laughs> you give and you shall receive. <laughs> and I'd have a good old time in there making ruckus. All right, free placing mode, reposition. Oh, you can hold it up and down like this or that. Oh, I see. Okay. Still kind of remembering how this goes. Change axis. Oh, you can go like this or that. Oh, that's awesome. What a well thought out game. Let's place it. And then do I need to open it somehow? Or do I just unpack every See, This is what makes a good game in my opinion. And one of the reasons why Seven, The Days Long Gone, a game we tried to play twice, was a game that I think has a great story, great art style, great world, the world building is just really good from what I saw of it. But they really impeded you from being able to connect with it. And one of the ways that they impeded you were the controls. And second was, every time I had a question, it was really hard to find the answer to it, even within their own tutorial system. That with the bugs that many people reported, they put out six patches in a month. That's great that they did that, but the fact that they had to put out that many, a little bit of a problem. But anyway, with this game, I go, okay, great, we have this pad. I feel successful. I have a moment of success. Yes. And then I go, oh, but, but how do I unpack it? How do I make it unroll? And then you just walk up to it and it shows you. So I haven't felt too stuck except with the crafting recipes. That would have irritated me. If I had not had your help, I would have had to keep going out of the game to look it up. So that's what I think here. Oh, yes, I forgot there is a radial menu. Summon your horse. Emotes. Yes, please. You can wave. You can say yes. You can say no. What happens if I wave? Oh my God. I think that was E to bring up that menu. Yes, it was. Oh, look at this. All emotes. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. A moment while whilst I collect myself. We can have a cor We can have a horse. Yes. Um, during the break, there were pictures of characters riding horses in the game. Mm -mm. No. Oh, oh, you mean, I got it. The emotes. You mean the emotes are for multiplayer. You know what, Jay? I don't, I don't agree with that. I think the emotes are for whatever we you know, I mean, I bet it's fun for multiplayer, but, um, the Macarena. Hey, Macarena. 
So I'm going to tell you that every time our character um, considers how her victory, how sweet her victory is going to be over the mutineers. That's what they call themselves now. They have a ship and they're called the mutineers. <laughs> okay. And then you just stop like that, I guess. Does it stop? How do you stop her? Crap, I'm stuck. Can't stop her. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I right click jump yeah just jumping okay <laughs> all right let's try some more <laughs> okay so if if I hadn't already bought this game if I were watching it not on the fence as to whether I was gonna buy or not and I saw that I'd have been like steam buy <laughs> so fast I'd have broke a nail <laughs> all right let's do uh, what's up next gang ha gang nam or moonwalk do a, a wave. We did the wave already. Oh, I see. Do a wave. I see what you mean. We have to go through all of them. Okay, let's do moonwalk first. Isn't that good? Michael in the house. Michael in the house. Hey, nerd sister, are you still here? We're Michael Jackson 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 in the for, for you. <sighs> oh, that's cool. Did you see how she did a turnaround when it stopped? Did you see that? Let me put on the uh, fire and let's dance by the fireside, by the firelight, I mean. Okay. So, and also let's open up our, our sleeping bag. So uh, unpack. And then we can lie on it or we can pack it up, but we'll keep it. Let's um, put in, kind of wish I could hot, hot key tools. I bet you can actually. Um, There's a way, actually, let's go out to the uh, menu because I want to add uh, some of the tools to hotkeys so I can quickly go to them. I'm going to move chat over here, maybe up here. Nothing is up there in that corner. Uh, settings, controls, keyboard controls, activate hotbar slot, character panel, drop active item, toggle free placing mode. No, that's just activating the slot. Yeah, doesn't seem to be a way that I can kind of put my ax on one and my blah, blah, blah on two, that kind of thing. I can only, I suppose I could put them in the hot bar maybe. Oh, I see. That's kind of dumb. I could put them in the hot bar. Okay, I get it. I, I wasn't thinking that through. I admit that. Okay, so first of all, let's put the things we really need on, on the bars and take the fruit off. So we'll have our primary weapon on one. Our primary, our primary tool, we tend to use the stone ax a lot. So let's put that in, uh, I guess we have to do it, put it in two. One is just for our hands. The pick is next. Yeah, we're definitely celebrating, although we haven't slept at all, you're right. Uh, but yeah, we need to keep our tools here. Let's put the bow drill. Well, let's do all our two tools first. Stone axe, stone knife, stone hammer, stone mace, which we haven't used yet, but we will. Stone bow, stone mortar we haven't used yet. Torch, I want to put on seven. No, wait, let's put torch on, let's put torch on eight. On seven, let's put our club. And then finally, let's put our bow drill on uh, nine. And then hopefully if I press nine, that should just, oh good. I'm glad sister, I'm glad. So hopefully if I press nine, that should just give me my uh, bow drill or do I have to do anything with it? Oh, that's too bad. Pressing nine just shows me it, but it's not allowing me to actually interact with the camp campfire. Dig, dig, dig. It's, yeah. Let's try this one more time. If I go here and then I go here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put it into seems that that is not working the way I want it to inspect dynamic slot equip okay 
I bet they'll have it. Um, you know, it does say campfire remains. You're right. However, we were able to light it before, which is why I was thinking we could light it again. But it looks like you're right. We can't. So, uh, so Jay is right. Let's, um, I'd like to clean up these remains. Is there a way to, like, remove this? Nope. I want to, oops, sorry. Chat's in the way here. Uh, yeah, that's why I was kind of wondering because it doesn't, it's not allowing me to do anything like pick it up. I don't want to do that. So that's why I thought I could light it. Crafting. Unlit campfire. Good night, Angie. I completely understand. No worries, it is very late. We're going to be ending fairly soon. Okay. I'm going to place this campfire on top of it. Another campfire. And then I'm going to... Hmm. Do I need to press zero? Is that... Oh, I see. I didn't have it... Um... Yeah, it doesn't look like I can remove the campfire remains. Would anybody be willing to look up how you can, uh, if, if Google can campfire remains be cleaned up or removed or something? Okay, uh, and then one more campfire because we're gonna finish up with our emotes and then we're gonna wrap it up for this evening as I am tired as well too. I'm just putting it over the other fire and then light. Okay. So now that we have a little bit of fire light to light our way. Uh, I don't want, you have a bow and a, oh, I see it's the tool itself. Got it. Okay. So, um, Let's finish up with those uh, dance actions, the emotes. We saw, <laughs> we saw all emotes. We saw Moonwalk, we saw Macarena. <laughs> I wonder if the guy who created that. Oh, the ax, machete or knife. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, Jay was using his brains, and I was like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> and Jay was like, maybe we could just use it. <laughs> okay. So there's the Macarena for you. Uh, and then face palm. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. You know, you were like, you could just have me use an axe. And I'm like, but I can't. And you're like, <laughs> She's hungry again. Let's see what we can uh, cook tonight. Let's see what's on offer. <laughs> on offer for dinner. Roasted fruit. Roasted vegetables. Hard-boiled egg. Um, wood pulp. Hard-boiled egg. And more roasted vegetables. Okay. And now we just need to wait a little bit for dinner to be served. In the meantime, let's open this up and have something to eat. Just sort of munchies, if you will. We have some roasted fruit here. Eat roasted fruit. Eat roasted fruit. Okay, I don't need to make her eat more than she needs. Otherwise, I just kind of waste it. Okay. So does she already have food in her inventory? Yep, yeah, Renee actually caught me. I'll tell you, I, my only excuse is that I'm tired and that three quarters of your brain is spent on the live stream process so the only a quarter left to actually do reasoning and problem solving skills. <laughs> that's my that's my excuse. So let's go lay down. Let's get some sleep. Oh, look at 
Look at her, warm and safe by her fires. What does Pippi dream of? What does Pippi dream of? Oh, I don't want to stand up. I meant to lie on and sleep. Let's sleep until the morning. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at the sun. This, did you see the moon? It was all that same style, like origami-ish folded paper type style. Oh, you can wake. Oh, gosh. Wake her up. Crap. I, I didn't realize that you had to press to wake her up. I think she just slept through a whole entire day, maybe. I don't know. Can food burn if you leave it on too long? That's a good question. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. She she dreams about Grandma Poopy Plop La Pew and pixelated sheep. You know, right there, poor, origami kind of. Uh, so I believe that the name of this style is, I think it's called voxel based or voxel style. I think V-O-X-E-L. I could be wrong on that. Okay. Um, nope, not the radio menu. Let's move forward. So uh, we have campfire remains. We can interact with those. Um, it looks like if they're black, you, you, you know, you can light, relight them twice. And if they're black, you can't interact with them anymore. I think that might be it. Let's break them up using our, um, let's see here. Yeah. I don't like that. I have to go into the menu to pull the tools out from what I've been able to figure out. Having it in my hotkey doesn't seem to actually make me be able to use it put it into my zero key spot if you understand what i mean okay uh probably don't, actually don't want to pick i think i want an axe okay so if i just nope i want to use my axe put it on zero there we go What is that? Oh, I picked, it picked up all the roast, the roasted fruit went flying out because I destroyed it. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh gosh. Cause I'd forgotten that there was fruit in the campfire. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's back up a little bit here. This game is a delight. Okay, interact with, is there any fruit in here that's gonna fly out on us? <laughs> so I'm doing, the, oh, there was more fruit in one of these, got it. Okay. I'm starting to understand things more or less, mostly less. Nope, don't wanna do that, want to go like that. So that means I should be able to relight this using the bow drill. I'm definitely gonna be reading up on how to play the game because we're going to be playing it again on Tuesday. Uh, let's see, zero, nope, zero. Nope, it doesn't look like I can do that. So I'm going to have to put my axe back in. Where's my axe? There it is. Add it back in here. And break up this can fire. I'm very proud of you, Pippi. You've done very well under very difficult circumstances. It looks like a day. It looks like, you know what? It's true. I slept all the way through a whole day. Hello, Malchick. Mmm, that sounds good. <laughs> Ariel, food now. Okay, so let's eat. Uh, uh, because Ariel is telling me that we need to eat quick. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that the hot part. Yeah, the hot bar is strange. I'm not understanding it. So we are going to return to the main menu. And we're going to end here. And when we come back, we're going to spend another night. Um, I mean, on Tuesday, we're going to end the live stream here. But uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, let's go to the main menu. 
and the adventures of uh, Pippi Le Pew and her quest to build the second good ship Poopy Plop the second <laughs> continues with her lovely purplish hair. We finally have some clothes for her. She's got a mat. And so let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. Shark! We're not tangling with any sharks anytime soon. <laughs> but we will try fishing next time because we do need to eat. Some We can't live on woman, or I should say captain, does not live on roasted fruit alone. Anyway, thanks, as always, for watching. <laughs>